Hey guys, Justin Ampson Sound. Wanted to share a little bit more about my choice of equipment. Thought you guys would appreciate uh, a few more details. So, from a tube choice, uh, DAC input choice, I thought there were a few more things that I left out in the last video. First of all, uh, Dan Clark Audio Ether 2s, uh, one of my very favorite long standing choices. Um, I'm totally an Odyssey fan, a ZMF fan, Sennheiser and of course the, the uh, Dan Clarks. Um, I keep coming back to the Ether 2s. I had the Ethers uh, and the Ether Cs. I've had the Ether uh, Closed as well. I had Ethers, the blue ones and the red ones, and then the 2s, um, and I've had the Closed. But when I found the 2s, they just felt like an F1 race car. They were just so well built and they had all the resolution you could ever want. And they were just a really fantastic pairing with my amps, and I've continued to love love them and lust after them, and just recently got another pair. Um, with the A and K, you know, the A and K comes, the 1.1 is really this magical uh, entry point. Um, I think it's like $1,200 uh, to get into, so it's a really inexpensive place to get into a really high quality uh, tube R to R DAC. Uh, with uh, IVR transformers, um, you know, it comes with USB and coax, uh, and I'm using a Raspberry Pi, and I'm using Ropey uh, to run my interface, and USB from the Raspberry Pi right into the AMK, and then uh, RCAs to my uh, pre, and then RCAs back to my amp. Uh, the Red October. Tube choices. So these are the JJs. JJs have huge plates. Super love them. Um, I'm running 5 ar 4s because I want a slightly more forward sound. Um, I have Western Electrics and I have really appreciated the Western Electrics. Um, but I think next up it's going to be trying some Takasukis. So can't wait to try something new. Uh, I, like everybody else, love to do a little tube rolling. Um, still waiting for the A and K to get fully broken in before I do a little tube rolling with it. And can't wait to see what things come next. So, thanks guys.